All right. So we are moving on to section 4B.3. Please pay attention because that's how we learn is by paying attention. Um, so in 4B.3, it's about determining images of multiple points simultaneously. So it's going to be a mix of us talking about um, matrix multiplication, solving systems with matrices, and transforming points um, in geometry. Okay. So it's a hodgepodge. It's going to be broken into three parts. All right. So today we're going to start with part number one. Okay. Part number one is using technology to perform matrix multiplication. Okay. Um, pretty straightforward objective. Use technology to perform matrix multiplication. I mean, that's our end game, right? And we confidently use it. So to get started, um, we're going to start off with the TI-84. But before we do that, we're going to start off with basic review of what we learned from last week. Is that cool? Oh, yeah. All right. So at the top of your page, you have the problem where it says, Group review practice. We're going to divide and conquer, okay? Use the following linear transformation to determine the images of the following points, okay? In 2B.2, we talked about linear transformations being represented as matrices. You all remember that? That was the first thing we talked about. We can take our linear, convert it to um, coordinate, take the coordinate, convert to matrix, correct? Okay, the goal is to be able to go backwards, so at the end of 2B.2, we talked about, can I go backwards? Can I take a matrix and turn it into a ordered pair? And the answer is yes, we can, okay? In order to do that, we're going to talk about it really quick, um, just for the sake of time. And then I'm going to give you guys a moment to figure out where the new transform points are. Cool? All right. So because of matrix multiplication, we learned that when I am multiplying a 2 by 2 times a a row matrix, um, a two by one here. All I'm doing is saying two times X plus three times Y, correct? And that is my first ordered pair of my transformation. So we have two times X plus two three times Y. Erase, erase. Is this ringing a bell? Yeah. All right, then my next one is gonna come from the second row, correct? The second row, we have 1 times x plus 4 times y. Do we see that? So we have 1x plus 4y. That's my transformation rule, my linear transformation rule. So with that linear transformation rule, if I give you two minutes as a group to tell me where these points transform to, can you do that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to, so the speed of time. If you need to use a calculator, use a calculator, but I'm gonna, let's say 90 seconds. So let's see what we can do in 90 seconds as far as getting those transformed, okay? Hey, what do we gotta do with that? You're transforming the points. Uh, 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 I gotta add in more. Turn them into matrix? No, just tell me what, what would be their new ordered pair. Remember, ringing a bell a little bit. So 30 seconds have already passed. Really. Yeah, so I so we know our X is in our Y, right? So can I substitute it for X and Y? Because it gives me my original X's. So on this one, this is your X, this is your Y. So you have two times x, so two times four plus. Now we're gonna move them down. Oh, right here. You want to do this one? We didn't. We didn't this. We were doing the bottom of the last one. Oh, uh, uh, well, okay. Right. Oh, okay. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever heard of baseball? No, I want to see you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. Remember, you're supposed to talk to each other. I got four. Remember, you're already giving your X's and your Y's. Oh, yes, I did. So, you didn't even write down our first name. Mm -hmm. Boy, mm -hmm. this is supposed to be one number. 
So if I have a, a rule of dollar and they're given the value, why did you keep doing it? Okay, let me see. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. Yeah, what he got. Wait, he got eight, six, and four, eight. And then do you add those? No, that's just one, two. That's, that's a common term. So, like, as what have we been doing this class for six months? Oh, it's going to be okay. a brainstorm. Yeah, eight, eight, what eight, is your X? What is your Y? Plug eight, them in. Eight, that's eight, yeah. one coordinate. That's oh, like, oh, is your X? Down to the what road. is your Y? Plug oh, it in. That's the second question. Yeah, we forgot. We forgot to. Add. Okay. Oh, that's why. Right. Y'all aren't here. Okay. We're about to. Be there. Okay, okay, neighbor. I'm just. I'm just trying to see how it's happening. I was like, no, no, no one's there. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 okay. What well, I get what? Well, like this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Did you catch wrong? Huh? Voice. Yeah. yeah. If you're in four, you can So it's so because you and I. You did. 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 Well, that what? one, that two is next. So here's my matrix. So then the matrix. Wait, exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you're one. So now you're playing. Oh, you're the first one. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Stop. 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 Oh. I don't know. See, see, Anyways, moving on. All right, I think our our timer is definitely up. Oh, um, let me say there's a couple. Of that? You see the little numbers? Yeah. The little tag says zeros up there. Yes, six minutes. Yeah. Not what this at all. All right, so raise your hand if you think you may have overthought this. If you may, if you may have overthought this, this whole table, okay? Well, I encouraged you to use your calculator just for like the sake of us um, speeding it up. Where Sylvie? There she is. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. What are you doing? Right. Not like this. There we go. She was just, you know. Chilling. All right. So here our rule, we have 2x plus 3y. So if I have 2x plus 3y, that means that everywhere there's an x, I'm plugging in zero for the first point. And everywhere there's a y, I'm plugging in zero. If I plug in zero for everything, what is going to be my transform point? Zero, zero. So for a zero, it transformed to zero, zero. Now I'm going to do four and two. So for four and two, we have everywhere there's a an X, I'm plugging in four, and everywhere there's a Y, I'm plugging in two. So for my first coordinate, I have two times two times four plus three times two. So my first coordinate is 14. Second coordinate is one X plus four Y. So one times four plus four times two puts me where? 12. So the transform point here is 14, 12. So back to my original question. How many of us overthought this? Mm. Is that just one me? No one else wants to own up to it? Okay, it's all right. As long as we learn. All right. Do we see how that's it? If I give you X and Y and say this is the rule to follow for, all you're doing is substituting it. Got it? Yeah. All right. So with that being said, what is 7, 8? 38 and 39. Remember I said don't be afraid of big numbers. And what do we get for 3, 6? 
There we go. That's it. That's all I need you to remember from 2B.2. Okay, so from 2B.2, we know that we can take matrices, write them as coordinate pairs, correct? And then in the beginning, we talked about going the other way. We just need to be comfortable going back and forth between the two. Got it? Yeah. All right. Now, with that in being said, how can technology make any of this easier for us? Well, I'm glad you asked. Technology can make this easier because there are matrices built into our devices. To access the matrix section, you're going to be pressing second X to the negative one. Once you're there, you're going to scroll to edit, and this is going to allow you to put in what type of matrix you have. You're going to press the number to access matrix whatever you need. So if I need matrix A, I'm going to press one. Matrix B, press two. All right, then you're going to input your dimensions. Remember, dimensions are always RC colo. Row, then column, right? RC colon. And you're going to input the matrix entries by pressing the number and enter. All you're doing is entering the numbers, you literally pressing enter. And then you're going to exit the matrix, and now you've stored it. To exit the matrix, you press second quit, and then keep going. All right, are we ready to practice? Everyone has their calculator in their hand? All right, let me open Sylvie. Hey, girl. Okay, here's Sylvie. I'm going to press second. X to the negative one, and it's gonna open our matrix window. These are all matrices that have not been created. Does that make sense? How do I know they haven't been created? Because they have no dimensions next to them, okay? So they're empty matrices. We're gonna go over to edit, like it said in our steps, and we're gonna press one, because this is called matrix what? A, so we're gonna press one. What are the dimensions of, ma of matrix A? Two by two, so I'm gonna put two, press enter, then I'm going to put two, press enter, and it's going to create my box for my four elements. Once I'm in there, I'm typing the number and pressing enter, typing the number and pressing enter. So we have two, enter, one, enter, negative three, enter, zero, enter. Whoa, hold on. How did you, wait, what? What happened? If you are not lost, help a friend find them. No, you go there and you got to go over to edit. Look at the steps in our notes. Go to edit. All right. Yes. It may be the plugs. All right. All right. Now we're going to close this out. To close it, we're going to press second mode, which is where quit is. Okay, now we're going to do it again because we have a second matrix to put in. What is our second matrix called? B. So we're going to repeat the steps. Second, X to the negative one. Notice that our A is there, right? Our dimension. So we're going to go over to edit. And this time we're creating matrix B. So I'm going to press two for B. The dimensions here again are two by two. And I'm going to put in my values, negative 1, enter, 3, enter, 0, enter, 4, enter. And now I put in all of my elements into the 2 by 2. Yes? Okay. Now they're in, we're going to hit second quit. So what it wants us to do now, we created A and B, and it now wants us to do what with them? Multiply. Well, this is a 2 by 2, and this is a 2 by 2. And they smile at each other. So is the multiplication going to work? Yes. It's going to create a new two by two. Do we see that? All right. So that means we can go ahead and multiply. We won't get an error message because we know it's going to work. To multiply, we're simply going to go to second, x to the negative one, and open our matrix. Do you see our two created matrices? We're going to click one for A, and we want to multiply it to B. And we're going to click two for B. And now I'm telling the calculator, please multiply these two matrices. And I hit enter. And what did it do? It multiplied. So we have A times B equals matrix negative two, 10, three, and negative nine. That's Which part, baby? Okay. So you're going to press second X to the negative one. And then I'm going to click the matrix I want to multiply. So I have matrix A, which is 1 times, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to grab matrix B, which is 2, and hit enter. 
Give me a quick symbol. So then one of your matrices may be messed up. So I will come and look. All right. So All right. now while I walk around helping people, here's yours to do. So do yours and check with your neighbors. Okay. So you're going to clear your calculator and make up your, putting your own A and your own B. Got it? Clear your calculator and putting your own A and B. So really, you're on your own. Oh, really? I did. You did the work. Over edit. Put it home. Okay. Yeah. Two more negative three three. Okay. 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 And then I say, go back. It didn't do that. He just went me in the car. No, miss, it didn't do that. <laughs> it's a okay. Oh, my gosh. You have to play the guy Second plus seven, one, two. Huh? Second plus seven, one, two. <laughs> You're what? All right, anyone else needs me? Um, How are you feeling about using technology to multiply for us? Here, uh, I might as well do it myself. You can, if you learn how. That it a joke. Okay, the reason why we have to know how to do it by handheld is because, yes, on SAT, ACT, they may allow you to use online calculators, but they do not allow you to uh, use specific calculators. The calculator that we're going to use is a Desmos matrix calculator, and that is not allowed on testing. What? Why? Because it's not a built-in feature on the test. whatever. <laughs> so, therefore, we have to know how to do it with our 84, okay? And it's not even bad. You just put it in the only time we're going to use it. Because messed up the first time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby, it is. All right. How do we do on the UDU? What do we get? A hundred. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, like. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. A, to, A, B equals negative six. Then Z. So we're good? Yeah. All right. Now take out, uh, you should have your computers out and we're going to go to Desmos. Okay, you have to change your Desmos. It's desmos.com forward slash matrix. So you have to type it like so. But you can just write this part and I'll get there. But it has to say desmos.com forward slash matrix or it will not open the calculator. Who complains? On a day, I complete everything with eight. You do. You're valid. Not in every class, but everything other day. You have something, and it's not even school related sometimes. I get it. Sometimes I don't even complain at school, I complain at home. Here's a literal complaint. What is that? Your paper you left. Oh, break. I left it here. A literal complaint. <laughs> Why? Because I hated it. I should do something random. Wait, you want me to? Yeah, they'll have to, um, when, I, when I first couldn't say Matrix, I just got thought of the one movie oh. or whatever that was. Oh, the Matrix, the movie? Yes. All right, here we go. So here is my Matrix on Desmos. So the first thing you're going to do is build the Matrix, okay? To build the Matrix, you need to make sure you're comfortable with, with the dimensions. What are the dimensions of A? A two by two. What are the dimensions of B? Two by one. Two by one. And we're going to use Desmos to determine if A times B works and B times A works. Okay? Yes? All right. Here we go. So we're going to put them in. I'm going to open up my Desmos. Here it is. To put it into Desmos, you're going to click New Matrix. So you click New Matrix. And it's going to ask you how many rows and how many columns. Well, I have two rows and two columns. When you're inputting the values in Desmos, you're going to press the arrows on your keyboard to navigate through. So two, three, one, four. Well, not arrows. I don't think y'all have arrows. 
Do y'all have arrows? Yes, you do. And then you hit enter, and it's going to save that as your matrix A. And then we're going to create a new, another new matrix. And it's going to automatically say, do you want to call this B? Do I want to call it B? Yes. And the dimensions are B are two and one column, correct? What are the values of my B? Seven and eight. Hit enter, and it's now saved in the into the calculator. All right. Can I get a thumbs up that we are all at A and B saved in our Desmos calculator? Yes? All right. Now it wants us to test to see, can we do A times B and can we do B times A? Got it? All right. So we have A times B. Does A times B work? You press A and then times. Uh-huh. Did it work? Yes. Yes. So for A times B, we have 38, 39, correct? Hit enter. Now we're going to do B times A. So we're going to do B times A. And it says, oh, no. What does that say? Error, error. Okay. Can someone tell me why it's an error? Compatible dimensions. They're not compatible dimensions. Okay. It also tells you when you hover over it. Okay. So basically what that means is that order matters when you are doing matrix multiplication. It's not commutative. Order matters. So the reason why A times B works, do y'all remember our smile check? Yeah. So if I have a two by two times a two by one, do they smile at each other? Yes. And they're going to make a two by one. Did we get a two by one as our answer? Yes, we did. However, if I have a two by one times a two by two, do they pass the smile check? No. That's why they are not compatible. Got it? All right. How do you feel? Okay. All right. Do we need the extra practice? So this is just extra practice of us doing it. Otherwise, we're going to dive straight into the word problem. Let's just dive straight into the word problem. Anyone else needs to practice putting into Desmos? You say we should practice. Why? Because you don't want to do the word problem? Huh? Well, let's practice making sure we can state the dimensions. Okay. What are the dimensions of A? A is what? Say that again. Three by two. Three by two. Row column. RC cola. Three by two. What is B? Two by four. Okay. So without putting it to the calculator, I can determine if it's going to work. Why is two different types of symbols? Oh, I, it always happens. I, for some reason, I can't write the same two back to back. Oh, or once a week under the table. That's cool. All right. So we have three times two plus two times four. Do they smile at you? Yes. So that means the product will work. Does that make sense? So does the product, does it exist? That's all it's asking. Does it exist? Yes. It exists. And what would it create? Remember, what's left is our new dimension. So what would I create? A three by four. Make sense? Okay, on B times A, that means I would have a two by four times a three by two. What happens? They don't, they're not happy together. They're not compatible, okay? So there is no solution, okay? At this point, we should be confident saying whether something exists with or without the calculator. The calculator is just a tool to verify if it does. Does that make sense? All right, okay. Let's go on to a real world example. All right, who would like to start reading for us? Oh. Okay, Jacory, raise his hand. Hit it, Jacory. Pop, who's next? The table to mark is with the scoring A touchdown is worth six points, a field goal is worth three points, and a safety is worth two points, and a point after touchdown is worth one point. Pop. You see matrix multiplication, but it's the final score. Perfect. All right. So, no, you did. Perfect. Oh. First, so we're going to create our two matrices, right? I need to have matrices in order to do matrix multiplication. Your first matrix is kind of given to you, right? 
And what is it given to me by? The score, right? And it's going to be a what? Say it again. What'd you say? Good job, Josh. We're going to create a two by four. So my two by four is made up of 10, one, zero, nine, six, zero, zero, five. Okay. In order for this to have a have a product, that means that the other matrix has to have how many rows? It has to have four. Because otherwise, would they be smiling at each other? No. So my other matrix needs at least, well, has to have four rows, and then the columns really don't matter, but it has to have four. Where that comes from is what are you describing here? So touchdown, field goals, safety in, um, point after touchdown. What are the values of each one of these? The touchdown is six. The field goal is worth how much? Three. The safety is worth how much? Mm. And our point after touchdown is worth mm. one. So it ended up creating a four by one. Do we see that four by one? Can I multiply these two using technology? Yes. yes. Do I need technology to do it? No, but can I use it? Yes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead really quick and someone tell me what was the score of the game? So you either can use the handheld or you can use Desmos to figure out what the final score was. Okay, this problem is very similar to your exit ticket that you're going to have to do on your own. Mm -hmm. Right now? Oh, bro. Oh, brother. We took a little bit longer, but we do have an exit ticket. Is and you are going to do your exit tickets at the bottom of your page, and you're going to post your answer to the discussion post. Okay. Is it not on your paper? No, to the second question. It's on the back. Oh, cool. you see it? Does it not say it on there? I was like, am I tripping? I you yeah. No, you're going to post your answer online. Like, what did you get? That's the score. Okay. It should be under your discussion or on your thingy. Paper, yeah. You see it? Okay. All right. So again, on here, I'm going to go to my handy dandy calculator. I'm going to quickly do it. So I'm going to um, call it, create a new matrix. This new matrix is going to be a two by four, putting in my values. I have 10, 1, 0, 9, 6, 0, 0, 5. And I'm going to create another matrix, matrix D. And matrix D is going to be a four by one. And I have six. Uh-oh. Go back. Go back. I have six. What was it? Three. I keep pressing enter because I'm so used to being on a calculator. And there we go. And I need to do what with these two matrices? C times D. Multiply. So what was the score of the game? 72 by 41, 72 to 41. There we go. All right. Do we see it? Doable? Yes. Yes. So, so, this, so we ended up with 72 to 41. Good. Washington's win. All right. You found it? Okay, good. All right, so really quick on your due now instead of football, guess what you have? I mean, on your exit ticket, you have basketball. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. It's a basketball overall. Whoa. I got you, soccer. Don't worry. We'll have a soccer problem. Especially when we start talking about quadratics, we have we have plenty ball motions coming your way. Huh? 